want to be able to do more exercises and more things. So I guess I'm just trying to figure out, like, well, what do I do now? So I'm much relief. I haven't really found an answer. Should I go to another doctor to try to find an ultrasound? Or is there something else that could help me? You know, I just don't really know where to go next. And I was hoping maybe you could help point me in the right direction. Gotcha. We've had maybe eight to 10 patients who have kind of been in your similar situation where they had an outbreak of shingles, the lesions go away, but then the pain persists afterwards and in the same region. The way that we treat those, which seems to work in about 80 to 90% of cases, is we'll actually do a nerve hydrodissection of the affected area. So we'll find the intercostal nerves that were impacted. We will do hydrodissection of that. If that branches out onto the anterior aspect or basically the abdomen, then we will go for the anterior cutaneous branches off of the intercostal nerves in that region. We'll treat those. And then we also treat along the spine where the dorsal uh -huh. and the ventral root are. So we kind of hit the nerve right. from the three areas and treat that to try and get the nerve to resolve the inflammation. Because our hypothesis is that there is long-standing chronic neurogenic inflammation despite the actual lesions and the shingles outbreak going away for some reason the nerve pain is still persistent so that's kind of how we approach situations like yours and like i said about 80 to 90 percent of patients will see significant relief sometimes it does take more than one treatment so we might do one treatment and a patient gets 30 to 40 percent better and then you know anywhere from six to 12 weeks later we repeat the treatment again and we kind of compound the effects so that's probably what i would say at least in my world if you came in to see me that's what i would do do a physical exam to determine if i do think those nerves are contributing with the hypermobility aspect also look to see if i think there's any mild instability at those vertebral levels in the thoracic spine because instability there can also cause chronic irritation of the nerve, the intercostal nerve essentially as it's exiting. So we might incorporate some treatments for the ligaments that are gonna support the thoracic spine.